Pastor Rob here. Today we're going to talk about the importance of diligence. We're going to start in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verses 1 and 2 and then pick it up again at 6. It says, Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Give a serving of seven and also for it to eight, for we do not know what evil will be on the earth. And in the morning sow your seed, and in the evening do not withhold your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, either this or that, or whether both alike will be good. So it's important to be diligent. In these times and seasons, it's important to be diligent in everything that we do, to be consistent. We're told over and over again, whether in the Bible or through experts that go on about success or whether you're into bodybuilding and you want to build more muscle or whatever it is you're going to accomplish in life, diligence is key. Consistently doing the work and being diligent and faithful at everything you do every single day. It's not easy. Of course it's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it. What is it that President Kennedy said when he talked about going to the moon? We don't do these things because they're easy. We do them because they are hard. It costs something to be diligent. You know, if you're trying to be more of a bodybuilder or become a fitness model or that kind of thing, it's going to cost you eating a lot of junk food and foods you want. Now, I'm not saying you can't ever have cake, but you can't sit there and eat nothing but pizza and junk food and expect to have a good physique. Not going to happen. At the same time, they will tell you there are moments of times where they do carbo loading, where they eat more carbs, and then they can have cake and some stuff sparingly. After all, you have to have some fun in life, but you can't let it get you sidetracked. The same with if you want to be successful in business, you got to do the things consistently. If you only do customer service all wishy willy nilly and wishy washiness, one time you offer good customer service, the next time. You just, oh, whatever, you're not going to be in business very long, are you? No, you got to be diligent at being good at customer service. you got to be diligent at keeping after your suppliers, your vendors, and keeping on top of things. you got to be diligent in keeping your books in order and everything on the up and up so that when the IRS comes or whoever reviews your books comes can see that you are consistent, legal, and honest. It's the same as if you're going to be living the Christian life. You need to be consistent in how you treat people. That doesn't mean you don't ever make mistakes. Of course you'll make mistakes. It's called being human. But then own it, admit you're wrong, and move on and be diligent and consistent. Jesus also told us the importance of diligence. Remember the parable of the unjust judge? How the woman kept coming to the unjust judge every single day. Give me justice. Give me justice. Give me justice. Give me justice. Until finally the guy said, look, I don't fear God and I don't respect man. But this woman is wearing me out. I'm going to see she gets justice because I'm going to get weary. I'm just going to go nuts from this lady coming to me every single day. So Jesus said we must be diligent in prayer when we ask for these things. If you're asking for deliverance for your family, salvation for your family or your friends, if you're asking for God to deliver them from sickness, or whatever it is you're asking God for, be diligent. Don't just pray one time and say, okay, that's it, la da 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 da. No, be desperate, be diligent, be like that woman to the unjust judge. I'm going to come to you every single day. I'm going to believe God for this. I'm going to be diligent and expedient at my request before the Lord. If someone is has cancer, be diligent in praying for them to be healed. Even if the end, their passing in the next life is how God chooses to heal them, that's up to Him. But we need to be diligent in everything we do, whether it's in prayer, whether it's in action, whether it's in deed, whether it's backing up our promises. It says in Ecclesiastes and all through Proverbs that a good reputation is worth more than gold or silver. And that's true. And in order to have a good reputation, you have to be consistent and diligent in everything you do. Look at Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Many, many people in the Bible. Joseph. What the kings and rulers over them said. They noticed 
their diligence. They said, in, they noticed their hard work. They said, in him is the spirit of the holy God. In him is the spirit of excellence. And they took note of that. Do you think Joseph was happy being in the prison? Of course not. Who's happy being in the prison? But he was diligent and faithful in everything he did consistently every day. He did the right thing on a consistent basis and it gained him a good reputation. It, Pharaoh took note of it. The jailer took note of it. Potiphar took note of it. And they kept putting him in charge. They kept putting him in charge. And he kept getting promoted and, commo and promoted and promoted. Yeah, promoted. <laughs> Wrong room. He kept getting promoted to the next level. Until he was the second in all of Egypt. Second in command of all of Egypt. That's quite the promotion. Look at Daniel. He was made ruler of all the sand traps because of his diligence, his consistency, and his excellence. It comes at a price. You're going to lose a lot of friends who want you to be chickens like them, want you to be turkeys like them. They don't want you to soar like an eagle because then you remind them you gave up on their dream. They gave up on their dreams. People want you to be like them. They want you to settle for the status quo. God wants you to soar above. God wants you to be the best person you can be. He wants us to rise above and set the example. And in order to do that, we need to be diligent and consistent. And yes, I'm talking to me just as much. I'm a pastor and I'm also the president of a nonprofit ministry. It involves a lot of diligence on my part. I have to be diligent to get up and pray. I had to be diligent to make the necessary phone calls to find places to have speaking engagements to f obtain the funding that we need to do what we do. Because we do work with, and I as a consequence, work with those who, like myself, are abuse survivors. Who, like myself, are rebuilding their lives or had to rebuild their lives to reach God's fullest potential for us. And now I get to turn around and help other people do what God used other people to help me to do. But that requires a lot of diligence in being there for people. A lot of times of taking people's phone calls when it might not be necessarily convenient for me. Because I might be in the middle of doing something else. But if someone needs me, I need to drop what I'm doing if possible. I mean, obviously they can't just stop dead in the middle of the highway because, well... Obviously, I cause an accident and end up on the evening news, but I can find a spot to pull over, call them back, and make sure that they're okay. It's like that with whatever you're doing. You have to be diligent and prioritize. I have a morning routine that I've recently developed and I follow. I used to have one. I kind of fell out of it, and I'm revamping that because if you don't have a morning routine and stay consistent at it, trust me. Working from home, you can end up blowing a whole day and not getting anything accomplished. Very, very easy to do. So I make sure I do my best to get up at 7 o'clock. I get up, I spend time in the Word, I spend time in prayer, and then I wash, clean up, shave, all that stuff. And then I spend some time in worship, I spend some time just giving thanks, and then I start, and then I make a to-do list for the day. If I forget to make it the night before, I make it that moment of that day and make sure that I have a to-do list of things that I want to accomplish that day and set my challenges for the day so I don't waste it. Now, these are just some of the things I do. I'd like for you guys to comment below and tell me some of the things you guys do to keep you on track and be diligent because I'm always looking for new ideas to incorporate and we can encourage each other by giving each other suggestions. I don't have all the answers. Perhaps there's something there out there that you guys do that would be even more effective than anything I could suggest. I think I get to live the best life I possibly can. I get to follow my passion and help people every day. I know it takes a lot of diligence, but it's worth it. If you'd like any information on my ministry, Robert L. Weaver Ministries, what we do, feel free to check out our website, robertlweaverministries.org. You can check us out on Facebook, Robert L. Weaver Ministries. Or I'll put our mailing address down below in the description. If you know anybody else who could use a little motivation area <clears throat> and diligence. Yeah, cat got my tongue there a second. 
feel free to like and share this video. You know, comment below some of the things that work for you. Turn on that notification if you like what you see. You'll be notified instantly when we create more videos. All right, shameless plug over. You all have a blessed day and be diligent in everything that you do. Grace and peace, guys.